YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy Noel Blends. We are back at it again with another haircut tutorial. I'm gonna show you guys how to do a low taper with this simple design in the back. Huge transformation on my boy. Other than that, it's your boy Noel Blends. Let's get right into it. We are gonna start off by damping up his hair. I do get it wet all over. That way we can maneuver the hair a lot easier and set it up. I do like to create shape before I do any type of fade or anything. So regardless if his hair was shorter, I would still be doing the scissor work first. So where you want to part it out is where his hair wants to lay over and create that where it wants to flow on its own if you comes to the left that's basically where you're going to have it parted at kind of where his hair starts to round off towards the top to with the top hair so right here what i'm doing is i'm creating shape we're going to go all around towards a little bit above his ear and just create the shape that i'm going for and we're just going to take off as much as we can but still keep keep some of the weight on top the reason I do this is so I can get most of his hair off the bottom cleared up. That way we can just know exactly where we're going to do our... Basically, what I'm going to do is uh, trim it down where we can get a bo boxy look as well. But the reason I do this is just to get most of the hair off the bottom and just create a better shape overall. So now what you want to do next, we're going to do about inch guidelines going upwards and we're going to pull it out and go straight up. We don't want super heavy bulk on the sides, just, just enough where like it's going to look really good. So just go ahead and do this all, all around his head and towards the back you do want to pull out the hair a little bit more that way we don't create um, a weird shape. You want more like a boxy look on the sides and more of a, a heavy towards the back. Everything I'm using in this video will be listed down below from combs to, to shear work and er, shears and everything, thinning shears. All the products, everything is going to be listed down below, guys. So if you guys want to check that out, that way you guys can get um, your guys' own pairs. This does not have to be perfect, so do not spend super much or amount of time doing it. Just make sure the majority is like I'm um, going straight up with the hair. Other than that, we're gonna still shape it up with our um, clipper over comb, so you guys don't gotta be super perfect with this. Right here, what I'm doing is I'm damping up his hair a little bit more in his bangs. He wanted them above his uh, eyebrows, uh, a little bit above eyebrow levels, and we're gonna give it some texture as well. That way it don't look um, super straight when we uh, clean it up. We're just going to give it more of a textured look on top. Keep in mind guys, do not cut cut them super short because they are damped up. So when you dry it and blow dry it or whenever he's done coming out of the shower or whatever, they are going to go up on their own. So you don't want to cut it super short. As you guys can tell, I'm point cutting right here, and that's what's going to give it a little bit of texture on his bangs. Just grab a little bit and just point cut it as much as you need. As much. If you want to do more, go deeper cuts. If you want to do just a little bit, just do uh, the tips. So right here guys, I did, I meant to uh, lower him, that way you guys could see more on the camera what I'm doing, but I'm just point cutting, giving some texture to, to his top. You just wanna go straight back, comb forward, damp it up, and just make sure it it's nice and wet, that way you can uh, maneuver the hair easier. But basically right here, I'm just going straight back and just point cutting, as you guys can see, and I'm gonna end up cross checking a little bit as well. But on the next videos I got for you guys, I did record them and um, I did put the my 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 client lower so you guys can see the more of the top. Now 
and I knew I should have dropped them lower that way you guys could see a better view but on my next video I got you guys I did lower it more and it's gonna be a lot easier for you guys to see the top on my next videos so bear with me right here what I'm doing is I'm adding a little bit of um, level 3 hair serum every time I blow dry it guys you guys do want to add a little bit of hair serum hair serum because Honestly, if you guys don't put this on, it is going to damage the hair. It's going to burn it. And what that does when you add a little bit of hair serum, it gives it a protection layer, basically. And you can work with it. Um, it is, um, I think it was medium. No, it, it is medium um, high heat, medium heat. And it was going um, at full blast when I was blow drying. Do not put it at the very hot because you will burn your clients. And right here, what I did, I just added a little bit of hair texture or powder. Just to give it some more shape, that way I know where to put my blend at. As you guys can see, I'm coming in with my number two guard lever fully open. We're gonna go straight up, just just so we can get some shape going and to clear up some of the bulk, so we can, so I can know exactly where I'm gonna put my fade. As you guys can see, I'm using my comb to feed the hair into the clipper. That way, it lays nicely as well. And what you wanna do is just go straight up, not really dig into it. That way, we give it some shape as we're taking down the bulk as well. Everything is shape, guys. Remember that. You want your haircut to look have a nice shape. So first what you want to do is come in with your no guard or your trimmer, not your no guard, but your trimmer and set in your first initial ball guideline. We are going to be doing like a low mid taper on him, keeping the hooks. As you guys can see, I don't really like to round it up super crazy. I just go straight across when setting in my guideline. That way we can have a nice, a nice clean blend. So once you, after using the shavers to get in it all the way down to skin, you want to come in with your half guard, lever fully closed, and create about an inch guideline. Just make sure the blade is flat and you create nice, consistent, even guidelines, and you'll get a nice blend every time. Next, what you want to do is come in with your no guard, lever fully closed, and take out that first bald guideline we did. Just honestly, you don't have to open it super crazy, just a little bit, and just make sure you you keep you go right on the line and you break the line. You can open it about a quarter, and that's really all you need to take it out completely. To be honest, so now what I'm doing, we're just coming in with our our zero gap trimmers, and we're just cleaning up the little stubbles that the clipper didn't get. Right after you do that, you do want to come in with your one and a half guard, lever fully closed, and you create another inch guideline. Keep in more of a rounder shape with this one. As you guys can see, I'm creating shape as well. But just make sure the blade's um, all the way flat, and then just creating some shape to it as you go with the guidelines. Next, what you want to do is grab your one guard, lever fully open, and start to blend down. We're going to put it right where we did the one and a half guard, lever fully closed. But instead of, of the one and a half, we're going to start with our one guard now, open, and we're just going to start to fade down. As you guys can see, I close it right here, lever halfway closed. We're just going to go a little bit lower. Just make sure the blade is flat, guys. And then it's fully, I'm going to end up closing the lever fully closed now, and we're just attacking the middle ghost line. It's not going to take it out completely. That's why we're doing this step here getting our half guard and just cleaning everything up right here any little dark spot you see make sure you attack it with your corners utilize your, your corners and make sure you flick right on it and just be careful with this one because you can't push up the blend so just make sure you use your corners right here what i'm doing i'm just doing a little bit of detail work go back jump down to my oster fast fees and just clean up the bottom just any little stubbles i missed so right here what I'm doing is I'm softening up the top to the bottom, the connection because I thought it was a little heavy so we're just going to connect it a little bit with our thin shears. This is my taper comb and we just use it to connect. Right here we're just going to add our lineup in. What you want to do is just create the C cup, start at the bottom and go towards the top of the where it gets heavier with the hair. And you just want to create a nice um, round shape that way you get a nice pop, add a little bit of enhancement. It is Kiss Express, half, half a half an aftershave and half a kiss express and we just mix it create a nice little contrast little extra pop with our white pencil that's all you gotta do with the liner i you do i do use a brush just so i can get a nice um clean white 
chalk line it's just for pictures guys if you want to use pictures honestly but most of my clients like it so it's technically a, a some form of, of uh, enhancement so right here what I'm doing is I'm just cleaning up the bowl with our number two guard layer fully open and just going straight across again using our comb to feed the, the hair into the, to the clipper You do want to go behind his ear a little bit that way you can get a nice crispy lineup i usually go with the one and a half but in this case he had a lot of bulk so i did a number two guard lever open and just clean it up i, I will be coming in with the one and a half just to get a better uh cleanup and a crispier lineup next what you want to do is grab your clipper over comb and just we're going to connect the top with the bottom a little bit better doesn't have to be super perfect we are going to just basically just give it a better um, better connection of shape and overall flow that way we can come in and really put our design and our fade nicely in there so right here we're going to add our first initial bald guideline these are zero gaps so be careful when setting the guideline in if you do have your zero gap trimmers I usually go with the blade, um, the way you see it right now, underneath, I go and take the hair off instead of actually like putting a hard guideline in there, just to, for my clients to skin so it won't be irritating. Coming in with our bald shavers just so we can get everything nice and down to skin. Make sure you go all the way to the top, just light pressure, let the uh, balder do the work. You don't have to put crazy pressure because it is going to be hard to take out that bottom line so right here what you want to do next guys is really put your one your your half guard lever fully closed and we're going to create about an inch guideline just make sure you guys have neat guidelines throughout the whole fade that's how you're going to achieve the nice crispy look overall if you have neat guidelines you'll get you'll always get a nice fade one thing to keep in mind throughout this whole time you guys are blending make sure you keep that blade flat that i'm telling you guys that's the secret to getting a nice saucy blend a nice buttery blend so right here what you want to do is i come in with my oster fast feeds these are zero gap with the ceramic blade doesn't have to be this but i like these better um because i can hear and they're just smoother i can hear when the hair is coming off it's just a smoother uh transition for me so we're just taking breaking that bottom line just opening about a quarter it doesn't even have to open or you don't have to open it super crazy we do come in with our zero gap trimmers and just clean up any little stubbles that my clipper didn't get Next, what you want to do is grab your one and a half guard, lever fully closed, and create about another inch guideline. Just remember, keep the blade flat and just create a nice, even guideline. Keep it nice and neat, and you'll get a, a perfect blend. Next, what you want to do is grab your one guard, lever fully open, and we're going to put it right where we put the one and a half guard and just start to fade down. Keep the blade, or keep the, yeah, keep the blade flat. Just make sure you go all the way to the top. Now, what you want to do is close it halfway, halfway closed, and then you're going to go almost all the way to the top again and just make sure you keep the blade flat. I can't stress that enough. Then you're going to fully close it and go right in the middle on the ghost line. It's not going to take it out completely. In some cases, it might, but not right, not in this case. So just make sure you have you have that blade flat as you guys can see it's gonna be the key to to having a nice blend so now what you want to do is get your half guard that are fully closed and you're gonna take off the remaining little ghost line that that our one guard didn't get just go right on it keep utilize your corners more on the on this one right there i fully closed it i thought it was fully closed but i had it at one notch but right there you want to keep the the half guard uh lever fully closed the whole time you have to open it go ahead but for the majority of the time you're gonna have to keep it closed just be careful you can't push up the blend with this one 
once you see it come out just leave it alone do not mess with it and go on don't spend too much time on this right here i'm getting my small clipper over a comb and we're just connecting the uh, better connection from the bottom to the top into the bulk all we got left to do is smack on our lineup and our design he'll be straight or good to go so we are going to put a design on him something simple nothing crazy i do have a video for you guys a tutorial where i break it down exactly how to do it just like this uh a different design but i just do simple line work other than that i don't have to be doing no crazy design work just something simple like this so just in case you guys forgot what my client came in looking like this is the before this was it had been months literally since he's gotten a haircut and this is what i came up with i think it came out super dope my client loved it as you guys can see he's very happy with this haircut low taper you guys can call it a mid if you guys want but to me it's a lot more of a low taper with the simple design in the back nice texture all around make sure you guys follow me on instagram and on tiktok and the world blends dm if you guys have any questions make sure you guys subscribe hit that notification bell that way you guys get alerted every time i drop a new video comment let me know what you guys want to see dm me on instagram if you guys have any questions i'm more than happy to answer it for you guys other than that it's your boy noel blends and i'm out of here peace